Okay, I hope you're doing great. This is Teacher Robilit, your English teacher for today. Please prepare your pen and your soap learning module and be ready. Are you ready? It's time to check your previous knowledge that you have before we will proceed to the next lesson. Let us now review kids. Please identify what is asked in the problem. Please select your answer. What can you say about the statement below? Visual materials over the whole range of non-text and non-audio materials, everything from original art, prints, photographs, and films. Letter A, true or B, false. Correct! The answer is letter A, true. Number 2. Which of the following is not an online source of information? A. Podcast B. Blog C. Magazine or D. Social Media You get the correct answer. The answer is letter C. Number 3. Which text structure discusses the similarities and differences of two or more concepts, persons, places, animals, or things? A Venn diagram is appropriate to be used for this text structure. Letter A. Illustrate. Letter B. Compare and contrast. C. Identify. Or D. Create. You got it right! The correct answer is letter B. Which is not a characteristic of broadcast media? A. It is often used for daily news reports on television and radio broadcast. B. It offers live discussion and live programming. C. It is a lightweight, portable, and disposable publication printed on paper. Or letter D, it has a wider range of audience locally and even internationally. Very good! The correct answer is letter C. Number 5. What is common between viewing materials and printed sources of information? A. They use dialogues and script for characters. B. They use reading skills to get the message of the text. C. They use still pictures or images to support the text. Or D. They tackle different themes and topics. Great! The correct answer is letter D. Number 6. Which among the sources of information are not time-bound because readers may read them back and forth for as long as they want? A. Broadcast sources of information B. Online sources of information C. Printed sources of information Or D. All of the above You gotta try! The correct answer is letter C for number 7, Trina loves to watch the television show Entertainment Live. As her hobby, she also collects limited editions of People magazine. What do you think is common between this television show and the magazine? A. Both are viewed on television. B. Both are interactive to their consumers. C. Both use still pictures and images. Or letter D, both feature well-known personalities. Very good! The correct answer is letter D. For number 8, to which sources of information do Facebook, Twitter, blog, podcast, and the like belong? A. Printed sources of information. B. Broadcast sources of information C. Online sources of information Or letter D. All of the above
correct? The answer is letter C. Kids, which statements below indicate the distinct characteristics of a movie and a storybook? Please put a check in the appropriate column. Letter A. It appeals only to the sense of sight. Is it a movie or a storybook? Yes, it's a storybook. B. We use viewing and listening skills to get its message. Is it a movie or a storybook? You got it right. It is a movie. Letter C. It uses moving pictures or images. Movie or storybook. Very good. It is a movie. Letter D. We use reading skills to get its message. Movie or storybook. Very good. It is a storybook. Letter E. It requires shooting with pre-production, during production, and post-production. Movie or a storybook. You get it right. It is a movie. Letter F. It is time-bound. Movie or storybook? Yes, it is a movie. Well done, kids. You've really learned a lot from your previous lesson. Kids, we will now discuss distinguishing print media from viewing materials. Mrs. Rivera conducted a quick survey in her English class. She asked her pupils to choose between watching movies and reading books as their preferred activity during their leisure time. The result of her survey is shown in the table below. For boys, there are 15 boys who love watching movies, 5 boys who love reading books, for a total of 20 boys. Can you still remember your lesson in addition number sentence? 15 plus 5 equals 20. 15 is the addend, 5 is the addend, and 20 is the sum. For girls, there are 8 who love watching movies and 12 girls who love reading books for a total of 20 girls is equals to 20 8 is the addend 12 is the addend and 20 is the sum to sum it up there are 23 pupils boys and girls who love watching movies and 17 boys and girls who love reading books for a total of 40 students. Mrs. Rivera found out that 15 out of 20 or 75% of the boys love watching movies for their leisure time while 5 out of 20 or 25% love reading books. How to find the rate? The formula in finding the rate is rate is equal to percentage divided by base. 15 is the percentage, 20 is the base, is equals to 0.75. Move to decimal places to the right and add percent sign. On the other hand, she found out that 8 out of 20 or 40% of the girls love watching movies for their leisure time, while 12 out of 20 or 60% love reading books. With these results, Mrs. Rivera concluded that most of her pupils who are boys are into watching movies, while most girls among his pupils are into reading books during their leisure time. If you were 
Mrs. Rivera's Pew Pew. What activity would you prefer during your leisure time? Would it be watching movies or reading books? Bata, natatandaan niyo pa ba ang inyong aralin tungkol sa iba't ibang bahagi ng pahayagan? Hi! Welcome to I Question PH. Ang question ngayong araw ay Ano ang mga bahagi ng pahayagan? Ang pahayagan ay isang uri ng paglilimpag. Nagtataglay ito ng mga napapanahong informasyon at balita sa loob at labas ng ating bansa. Kaya naman, dapat nating malaman ang iba't ibang bahagi nito para magamit natin ng tama at maayos. Ang unang bahagi ng pahayagan ay ang pamukhang pahina. Ito ang pinakamahalagang bahagi ng pahayagan dahil dito mababasa ang mga pangunahing balita sa loob at labas ng bansa. Ikalawa, Balitang Pandaitig Sa pahinang ito mababasa ang mga balitang nagkaganap sa iba't ibang bahagi ng mundo. Ikatlo, Balitang Panlalawigan Dito mababasa ang mga balita mula sa mga lalawigan sa ating bansa. Ikaapat, Pahinang Opinion Sa pahinang ito mababasa ang mga personal na opinion, palagay at kuro-kuro ng mga manunulat tungkol sa iba't ibang napapanahong paksa at balita. Kalima, editorial. Mababasa rito ang personal na kuro-kuro o pananaw ng patnugot o editor tungkol sa isang mainit at napapanahong paksa. Ika-anim, anunsyo klasipikado. Dito matatagpuan ang mga patalastas ukol sa mga bagay na ipinagbibili o pinauupahan, mga serbisyo o paglilingkod, gayon din ang mga pangangailangan para sa mga bakanteng trabaho sa iba't ibang kompanya. Ikapito, tanging lathalain. Mababasa rito ang mga espesyal na lathalain tungkol sa ilang paksang kawili-wili sa mga mambabasa. Ikawalo, 
pahinang panlibangan. Dito mababasa ang mga palita tungkol sa mga artista at mga palabas o pelikulang ipalalabas sa mga telebisyon o sinihan. Naririto rin ang comics, palaisipan, at iba pang artikulong makaaaliw sa mambabasa. Ikasyam, obituario. Nababasa rito ang anunsyo ng pagkamatay ng isang tao na ibig ipagbigay alam sa kanyang mga kamag-anak o mga kaibigan. Ikasampu, seksyong pangangalakal. Dito nakalagay ang mga impormasyon batay sa kalakalan sa loob at labas ng isang bansa. At ikalabing isa, pahinang pampalakasan. Dito mababasa ang mga balita tungkol sa mga sport at mga manlalaro. Iyan lamang! Audio Jungle For viewing materials such as films or movies, television shows, or videos, we use viewing and listening skills to understand their message. They use moving pictures or images. They have opening billboard, closing billboard, and credits, etc. They have a time duration. Characters have dialogues and script. On the other hand, printed materials such as books, newsletter, magazines, and journals uses reading skills to understand their message. They use still pictures or images to support the text. They have cover, title page, body, end page, etc. They have no time restriction. Readers may read them back and forth for as long as they want. They use printed text to deliver their message to their readers. They are similar because both have genres. Both contain themes and topics. Both provide meaningful information. Both teach lessons and both may tell or narrate story, discuss, feature, persuade, and inform people about a certain topic. A Venn diagram is ideally used to show similarities and differences between two objects. It's time to explore more! Have you tried watching television show or reading a magazine? Or an encyclopedia that features the Earth and its biodiversity? One million plant and animal species are at risk of extinction. The problem is, without this biodiversity, Humans are in trouble. Biodiversity is the term used to describe the variety of all life on Earth. Earth's species, their characteristics, even their habitats, are what maintain the health and resilience of nature. The more biodiversity, the more secure all life is, including ours. Biodiversity is the foundation of all the life on Earth. So we need biodiversity in the form of pollinators to keep our crops growing and to produce the food that we need. We need biodiversity to produce all the medicines that we are needing. And we need biodiversity to keep healthy ecosystems to sequester the carbon that we need to combat climate change. In the last 50 years, humans have wiped out 68% of animal populations. Experts say that the planet is undergoing its sixth mass extinction. 
biggest die-off of life on Earth since the giant meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs? If that doesn't scare you, consider this. Biodiversity provides everything humanity needs for free. If we were to put a number on it, the value of goods and services provided by biodiversity is estimated to amount to $125 trillion per year. That's more than two-thirds of global GDP. The continued loss of biodiversity affects the food we eat, the water we drink, to say nothing of our economy. Floods, fires, disease outbreaks all have connections to biodiversity loss. Why can't we stop this? As long as we disturb wild animals and their ecosystems, these viruses will continue jumping into us and causing trouble. Conservationists say that protecting at least 30% of land and 30% of sea on Earth by 2030 is critical for stopping and reversing the loss of species around the globe. The good news is that there's a whole suite of tools that we can implement. It's not just about creating national parks and protected areas, although that is important. It's also about integrating the economic value of everything nature gives us into all of our decisions. And it's about partnering with local and indigenous communities. Up to 80% of all plant and animal species and 17% of carbon stored in the world's forests is on indigenous lands. So it's essential that the lands and rights of indigenous people are recognized if we want to save the planet and all of us that call it home. There is hope. We've seen humpback whales recover thanks to an international conservation agreement. We've seen giant pandas recover thanks to the restoration of bamboo forests. And we've seen gray wolves recover thanks to federal protections in the US. We know nature has an astonishing capacity to rebound but avoiding future loss of biodiversity isn't enough. We all need to give nature the chance it needs to recover for humanity's sake. If you have done both, then you're ready to answer this activity. If not, you may search it on YouTube or read any printed material about it. For your activity, using the table below, compare and contrast the characteristics of the printed material that you read and the viewing material that you watch about Earth and its biodiversity. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Recall the key concepts presented in this lesson by completing the following statements with the correct word. The correct answers are
kids, let's explore more! Have you read a fairy tale with a movie adaptation? Compare and contrast the written story with its movie adaptation by putting a check mark in the column that corresponds to its characteristics. Copy the table and your answers on a separate sheet of paper. Based on the activity, can you now distinguish a movie from a storybook? Now, it's time for mastering your skill, kids. Look for a television show and a magazine that feature health and wellness. Compare and contrast the content of both materials. Use the information inside the box to fill in the Venn diagram with their similarities and differences. Copy the Venn diagram and your answers on a separate sheet of paper. And now for your assignment. Identify the characteristic of viewing and printed material described in each situation below. Choose the correct answers inside the box and write them on a separate sheet of paper. Well done, kids! I hope you had a wonderful learning day with me. Always remember, stay safe and stay healthy.